afternoon, and welcome back to Wing Commander 3. Last time, Grand Moff Tolwyn introduced us to the Behemoth. Oh, goody. I suppose this wouldn't interest you. Coded transmissions? Yeah, about a million of them. And they're weird, too. Not the usual codings. I can't even begin to break them. Lieutenant, we have an admiral on board. Now, his transmissions are supposed to be coded. Colonel, I've been around high rankers before. This is definitely different. got something up his sleeve. Are you sure about this? <laughs> Sir, I know there are times when you think I'm a little crazy, but I do know my job. Well, keep me posted. Yes, sir. Hmm. Strange coded transmissions. I'm sure that's nothing. Just Rollins being crazy. <laughs> I'll be right back. And back. Yeah, the dogs are going absolutely apeshit. Because, uh, they need all morning for me to start recording! <sighs> okay, let's see what the one wants. Ah, our local hero. Well, I must say that so far I'm very impressed you haven't lost your touch. May we speak privately, Admiral? Get it off your chest, Colonel. Sir, it's a little unclear to me precisely what your status is aboard this ship. Look, I took the helm of the Behemoth Project ten years ago. And there's no intention to usurp command? <laughs> I'd be a little more careful regarding my choice of words, Colonel. Admirals, by definition, do not usurp. I thought at long last we'd achieved a measure of respect for each other. Obviously, I was wrong. You may realize by now that your assignment here was a little more than merely fortuitous. We're headed to kill Ra with that thing, aren't we? Well, what would you aim for if you had the biggest gun in the universe? I'm pretty sure I'll get in trouble if I answer that question. <laughs> so yeah! As if you couldn't figure it out from the fact that he built the fucking Death Star, Colwyn intends to blow up the Kilrathi homeworld. Because that's the same rational thing to do. We'll get more into why that is actually a really good plan later. Po possibly in this briefing, I don't know. I can't remember. Looks like it might be getting back to normal around here. Hmm. Can't say it'll ever be normal while the Admiral's on board. It takes a certain sort to be an Admiral, me. I'll take guiding just one ship. The day-to-day -day successes are more tangible. Let's get to it, Colonel. The behemoth's not ready to move out yet, and we need to keep the Karathi away from it. Mind these four jump points and make sure that they take out all comers. We'll eventually need this fifth point for our exit with the behemoth. The hell was that? Did, did anybody else hear and see that? So. These are the... There was like a jump and, and someone went, ugh. That wasn't me. Last thing. Weird. Anyway, uh, I, I love that apparently everybody hates Tolwyn. I bet even these creepy mannequins we keep in here to make it look like we have a full crew. I bet even they hate him. Uh, who'd take this time? Did maybe I just blow a bowl? Yeah, that. Is he chewing gum? Well, pass some up, you bastard. Anyway, moving on. Uh, man, non-animated Flint is creeping me out. I cannot focus. Okay, I was gonna take Bacaro, but uh, his his foul mouth is just, it's too goddamn much. I can't have that level of fucking profanity on my family-friendly show. Jesus Christ, Bacaro. 
So it said we're gonna take uh, the racist instead. That makes sense, right? Cobra, I want you on my. <laughs> Dismissed, and good luck. I have to go choke a bitch. I'll be right back. Okay, back. Yeah, I had to go yell at the dogs. They're sad now. Don't get over it. Oh, please, no. Well, it's either the Thunderbolt or the Longbow, and I haven't shown the, th the Longbow off, so why not? Let's just set some actual missiles. Yeah, the mines... The mines, you would think, would be good for dealing with people tailgating you. No. They're bad. What you actually want to use is the turret, because it hits like a, it, it kicks like a fucking mule if you can hit anything with it. I can't. But uh, the main the main reason to consider the longbow, look how many torpedoes this thing has. They take like 14 seconds to lock on, but they're basically a one hit kill. Uh, I think they only lock on to cap ships though. But that's all you would really need them for. If you if you were using these on like, on like a fucking, uh, a fucking Vactoth, you have problems. Also, how are you keeping up with the Vactoth long enough to lock on a fucking torpedo? Here it is, the last one of these that I need to show in full. Man, this thing's phallic. I'm not sure why you're getting into a cockpit. You got in from the side. Yeah, I know, it's just reused footage. Move my headphones a little away from my ears because, ow. Yeah, now we get, uh, the only... The only cockpit view in the whole game that I don't like... Look how little of the screen we can actually see. And, uh, here's the main thing that I hate about the Thunderbolt. Look at that turn radius. Oh, God. It really is like flying a boat. Wish me luck, guys. Break an attack. I'm going after. Also, you only have two guns, which is kind of surprising. Luckily, they are actually decent. Unlike everything else about it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh. Uh. I feel so fat. Even compared to how fat I actually am. Oh god, no. This is gonna hurt. Or he could be an imbecile, that works too. Also, yeah, look at the shields on this thing. Like, one of those basically obliterated our shields on the arrow. We're taking like 12 of them now. And it only just barely got us down past one armor. And then the shields came right back up. So, at least when you're in the bomber, you know you're well protected. <laughs> Cut him off mid taunt. Lily, another one. Hey Cobra, you want to take this guy? Dude, I can't see my shields. Oh, actually, that's kind of a good strategy. Obscure my shield vision. Clever bastard. Yeah, if you, if you ever need to swap your missiles, you can just hit the M key. I'm pretty sure this game was originally made to, like, designed to be used with the mouse and keyboard. It doesn't control super well with the keyboard, though. Like, as in, it's kind of terrible. I actually played through most of Wing Commander 1 with the keyboard. Don't do that. Oh my god, don't do that. And Wing Commander 2 is almost unplayable with the keyboard. Break an attack. I'm going after. Man, look at all the guns on that thing. Wish I could be 
flying that instead. This thing are amazing. Not as many as the Vactop, but they hit harder. Also, the longbow, um, I mentioned previously that in Wing Commander 1, you could go to the bar, and the bartender and the other patrons would talk to you and give you tips, and those tips were frequently quite useful. Um, something that I think was actually mentioned on the Vactop is, um, don't try to play chicken with it, because those guns will tear you apart. The exception of this, starting with this game, is the it, not not the arrow, is the longbow, because this thing's shields are so freaking tough that it can just go toe to toe with a back top and win. You'll be hurting a bit because it will get through your shields, but um. You'll take him out quite a ways before he takes you out. It's kind of why he's ducking me. But of course, he has maneuverability. So, what did we get? Two and Cobra got like seven? I don't know, I wasn't counting. Okay, you'll notice that your AI partner is way better than this. Um, unless you're actually good with it, in which case, good for you. You're officially much better at this game than I am. And I didn't hit him a single time! Lovely! Damn it. Damn it. Eh. In future missions, even when... Even when the Thunderbolt is the recommended, I'm going to be taking... The word, when the Longbow is the recommended, I'm going to be taking the, uh... I'm going to be taking the Thunderbolt. You know, if I have a choice between the two. And yeah, I did completely forget to tell Cobra to break an attack. I should be using my missiles, but I won't. In part because... I haven't gotten a single missile to not get spoofed. Even the back top is spoofing my missile. This never happens. Yeah, you suck. You got shot down by a longbow, that's just embarrassing. I'm, I'm gripping the stick so hard my hand is going numb. Because it, it feels like I can make it turn better. Ah. I can't, but it feels like it. Break an attack. I'm going after him. I don't know why this happens. Every time we come out of we come out of autopilot, my uh my speed gets goes down by like ow! I got rammed. What I was trying to say is that my speed goes down by like four by, by like four kilometers per second. is a much better shot than me with that turret. Also, I'm pretty sure they have unlimited weapon energy. If we if we get hit like one more time, we will die. I'm somewhat tempted to eject here just cuz I haven't thus far. But at the same time, I don't want to eject cuz well, we're so far into this already. I'm, I'm probably going to eject next mission, just to show, like, what happens. Like, I'll, I'll just eject in the hangar and then reload the save. 
<laughs> you can eject in the hangar and somehow that doesn't kill you. Need clearance, TCS Victory. You're clear to land, sir. I have no idea how we survived that. And the auto the, the default thing that we jumped in on was going to crash me into the into the side of the ship. I hate the longbow so much. He made it back in one piece. Yeah, I think that's the worst. Uh, I think that's the worst performance evaluation you can get. Where she says like, "Wow, you suck." And uh, thankfully, we're done for this episode. Man, there's been a lot of problems today. And another one starting up right now. I can hear it off in the other room. <sighs> I'm gonna go yell at them again. But first. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, click the stupid bell, blah, 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 you know the drill. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you again next time.